Once again into the fray, we continue with our turn-by-turn -turn playthrough of Axis and Allies 1942 Online, my first game ever against the hard AI. We hope you'll join us here on Legendary Tactics. And so we move on to round seven. And uh, things have, have really changed uh, in the last little while. Uh, you can see Japan has really suddenly expanded, <laughs> but... Um, the AI being the AI seems to have neglected the uh, the homeland uh, a fair bit uh, so we're gonna see if we can't take advantage of that but um, but the Russians have to suddenly pay attention um, to uh, their their back door there we have to make sure that uh, we're gonna be able to um, hang on to um, hang on to that and uh, the Germans uh, still have some pressure on although they've certainly uh, it's certainly gotten a little bit lighter and uh, so with uh, with 27 IPC um, I think it's just gonna have to be a traditional uh, purchase here uh, of uh, whoops uh, of nine uh, infantry and you may have noticed that the the uh, interface has changed. They've released an update to kind of tweak the interface and that sort of thing. So it's a little bit easier to use, which is great. Um, but uh, but anyway, yeah. So that's where things are at uh, um, with the uh, with the Russians. So at the moment, I think the best thing for me to do is to kind of just spread out. Uh, if I can take out this tank, uh, this Japanese tank here with the, with these soldiers and then just spread out infantry again it's just one of those gamey things that you can do in nexus and allies here that uh is um you know it's, it's just part of the game i guess uh but uh it's something that is is um a good strategy is to spread out the infantry you know and and uh defend uh places by um you know just uh, uh hanging on to the um you know the 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 one uh, space each space with one soldier it just seems to be a, a very uh, um, you know easy and easy strategy but it uh, it works and it, it in some ways it's a temporary measure but it is uh, something that um, is a very viable strategy and certainly when you're trying to hang on to um, to places and uh, you know do do your best to uh, uh, you know, maintain uh, maintain a, your territory. It's going to at least slow down the enemy, and they're not going to be able to roll into key cities uh, without uh, without some um, delay. And so we move on to the combat movement. And again, uh, I don't see much need for the Russians to be aggressive at this point. I'm still ama kind of amazed Germany has that much in the way of war material, but uh, okay. <laughs> and uh, anyway, we're going we're gonna to be spreading probably a little bit thin here, but we want to just kind of have one troop in each territory. And uh, we're going to do our best to hold the, the Japanese back um, here. So... Um, I think that's where we're going to, uh, attack. Um, yeah, we're going to move, uh, three guys in. Now you can see the, the different, um, the different, you know, uh, interface is, uh, is kind of interesting here, but really the, the Russians, uh, are actually, yeah, the, the only thing that I can see them doing is a more defensive kind of move. Other than, well, let's attack this transport here. That's uh, an easy one. But really, the Russians are not in a position. I, th I actually thought the Red Army would be in a much better spot than they are right now um, overall. But, uh, but again, Germany has just had the ability to rebuild a lot of their, their stuff. Um, that they are weaker than they were, uh, early, you know, at the beginning of the game. But man, they seem to still be hanging on with a fair chunk of uh, of, uh, of units. So it's just a matter of of uh, you know keeping them um, you know down with strategic bombing, keeping their IPCs down, and uh, doing a uh, 
let's see here there we go uh you know and and just wearing them down i think at this stage uh you know they they're they're gonna be a bit limited on the uh the stuff they're gonna be able to do and oh boy wow okay press on <laughs> come on guys we need a jeez no one's uh fighting with any competence today i'm i'm fine to keep it going <laughs> as long as it doesn't cost me too much and it's one for one which is amazingly lucky on my part uh so um, and you can see the new interface as well that they've uh, implemented the dice rolling is a lot faster they also have a low luck uh, mode which is um which is really good um okay now we're gonna go to the next phase so yeah so we've got now we've we've kind of protected things a little bit uh i'm gonna just move one guy into uh you know China here this guy is going to move up to here and then at least slows down the Japanese advance um, although uh, just no you know what we'll let the British take uh, these territories here I was thinking about grabbing the IPCs for those but no I don't think it's uh, it's going to be worth it um, so that means because we've uh, closed off China we can keep more guys on the front uh, here and uh, again, just uh, moving just one there. They've got a good, uh, seems like it's a much better movement system now. And uh, we'll, we'll take the, uh, the rest and put them uh, here. So <clears throat> we've got, the, with the new map, it's, there's more spaces to cover, but I like how interlocked they are. It, it feels like, you know, you can, you can be defensive, but you can you're not moving too far away from any front, uh, you know. So that's a very helpful thing. Um, so the Mediterranean is ours. That battle of the submarine, uh, there was no uh, consequence there, which is great. Um, okay, and then I guess we're just going to be placing. Uh, uh, maybe we'll just put this fighter here. I'm a bit nervous about that space. I think it'd be good to have some more defensive uh, defensive forces there. And uh, where are we gonna build? Um, well, I think we can, we can split. Um, let's see. Um, how many infantry? Oh, this is an interesting interface here. <laughs> okay. All right. So you just uh, drag and drop to you. Okay, cool. Um, I mean, I can't uh, put, you know, too many guys in uh, the, the, uh, this uh, caucus, I think it's the caucuses here. Yes, the caucuses, because uh, I don't want to, you know, leave. If they do break through, I want to make sure that uh, Moscow is a strong defensive position and i like the central aspect to uh moscow where it's it doesn't matter where you uh you know it, where the where the uh, threat comes from you can defend against it with um with units from there so um yes yeah, so that looks good i think and we're on to the next phase and uh yeah overall i mean it's an okay turn for the um for the Germans, oh my gosh, they are flying everywhere, sinking transports. Jeez, that is painful. And they are pouring in, <laughs> pouring into Italy. Oh, jeez, this is not good at all. Yeah, the, the transports, uh, the fact that they're not uh, defensible um, from by air is really, uh, that is a real challenge there. Um, it makes it very hard to uh, approach without any sort of, uh, you could really have to build up your navy. And that's, if I have to say that's the one thing that I've done wrong this game repeatedly is not uh, counting on the, the, uh, the, the air force and their ability to just wipe out transports that happen to be on their own. So um, kind of an interesting uh, 
Interesting thing. So they advance, but not really strongly. Um, I think there's still... They, they put a lot of uh, armor into Rome there, which is fine. Um, okay, well, geez, I guess at this stage then we have to build uh, more navy, and uh, especially navy that can defend against um, uh, against air attacks, because, uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty brutal. Um, I'm going to spend that much there, and then I need some... Uh, tanks over in India because uh, tanks would be very handy over there ah yeah it's not uh, not very fun to have all those guys wiped out I, I spread them out thinking oh well there won't be enough fighters to possibly take them all out and of course there were um, but uh, yeah that's that's really crazy I'm wondering if I can actually strike them in France they've left uh, the AI's left. He's left a lot of vulnerabilities, but that's just because, uh, obviously, um, you know, France is a uh, is a is a spot where there's um, let's do uh, so. Yeah, they, they're just uh, France is you know obviously in North or Western Europe are safe once the transports are all sunk. So uh, you know that's the that's the reality. So anyway, we'll just have to do better next time, I think, with our uh, with our transports because uh, we left ourselves way, way exposed. And that's unfortunate because it does drag the game out a little bit uh, as well. But uh, um, anyway, we'll we'll figure out um, what to do here. OK, so we're going to uh, obviously we're going to uh, bomb uh, the industrial complex here there we go and we're going to have to probably look for the Americans to help out with that to bomb even more um, and just make sure that the uh, you know that the German uh, IPCs are as absolutely as low as possible um, it is just not <laughs> not something that uh, you know we want to uh, encourage here um, we're gonna blitz we blitz just in one click so you can get at least you get a good sense of the the whole um, of the uh, the way the interface is working which is kind of neat um, it definitely is better uh, they've really improved that uh, but I'm wondering if I should attack with three fighters here just to see if I can take down some of his air force uh, and uh, you know that because that obviously is going to be expensive to replace um, but it's also kind of all I can do at the moment so uh, yeah we'll just have to build up our Navy and make sure that we've got our air cover in place and uh, not rely on numbers so much um, now that Africa is secured we can move this guy gradually up for reinforcements if I had transports I'd definitely take advantage of that but I don't <laughs> so Oh, boy. Um, you know, and I have to say, I've said this before in previous uh, games, the AI, I mean, I'm I'm certainly not the best, uh, you know, player at this game, but the AI has proven to be a little bit more resilient than I had, uh, than I had anticipated. Uh, there really is a little bit, you know, um, it's not just a pushover, certainly. I was expecting something that was a little uh, more of a pushover, and uh, that's certainly... Um, has not been the case uh, so so we're gonna go into here and see if we can do some damage and we're gonna have to rely on the Americans I hope three strategic bombing raids per turn are gonna actually do something all right so we uh, hit them for four IPCs, um, which is uh, which is okay. Now let me zoom in here and see what is the tank. Where are the tanks coming from? I don't see any tanks in here. That's a bit weird. 
Um, where are the tanks? Because they say that there are four tanks there. I wonder if that's a bug. Because there are four tanks next door. Oh, unless that's they're talking about the yeah, Germany in there. Okay, that's very confusing. I thought they were talking about the next battle. So, uh, yeah, once you get the interface, it should be uh, should be an easy thing. So we're hoping to get a couple of, of hits, just wipe out their air force there that they left. And that may be a, a very viable strategy. Um, a little bit expensive, but, uh, but can, you know, if I'm, again, able just to grind down their, their economy, like 22 IPCs, um, that is not going to be easy for them to uh, replace. And uh, that's exactly what I'm uh, hoping for here. So to so just cause so much damage, you know, I mean, 26 IPCs uh, so far, uh, you know, that's a lot of damage to, uh, <laughs> to you can't replace that luck, fortunately. So, um, so that is a, uh, a good thing. Um, I'm just going to move him slowly, get some people advancing slowly, get some uh, human shields uh, go going uh, for the uh, yeah for the the British here, and we've done some damage. You know, 26 IPCs is going to be most of his uh, production, I would assume. Um, yeah, it doesn't really show what the uh, the IPCs uh, are here. Um, it's a bit confusing to see where the other players are at. And I've found that with the with the uh, the original uh, layout as well, it wasn't that great that way. Okay, well, I guess uh, there's not many units to worry about, so <laughs> we'll just keep on uh, trucking here, and we're gonna build a cruiser and destroyer in the home uh, territory. Get some air defenses up and some tanks in uh, in India. We'll build both of them there. That gives us some offensive capability because we really need to strike back against the uh, the Japanese at this point. And this turn for Japan is going to be really interesting. Um, so we're going to see what they do, what the uh, Japanese player does, because um, they're really they they're stretched out fairly thin on the ground in in the mainland, but there's not a lot opposing them either. So. We'll see what uh, what happens. I'm sure they're going to win all these battles and expand their territory greatly, um, resulting in the Russians having to turn around and defend themselves again. But yeah, it's really they're really uh, doing quite well um, in this game overall. I can't uh, I can't really fault their play, um, and they're building up like heck in Japan because they are. Uh, yeah, they're just build <laughs> building up a lot of defenses. It was it was kind of funny as it was looking like they were really not uh, not prepared for uh, for the, that assault. They'd left themselves very defensively weak. Now they have eight troops there, so uh, so now it can be more about getting back onto the mainland. If I can seize that factory, that would be absolutely huge, because that would mean that um, they have no production on, on uh, the mainland and we can really start uh, pressing them um, there and because it's just going to be a war of attrition as long as my navy controls the, uh, uh, the, the sea around, um, around uh, the mainland Japan and they, they're not going to be able to build any transports there which is going to be great and uh, yeah so we're going we're gonna, to um, build a couple of transports um, I think probably uh, let's see yeah they're not they're fairly fairly spread out I, I'm gonna maybe just build another uh, decent um, you know uh, see I want to make sure that they're not going to be able to just you know build a battleship and um, you know come well actually no I can move up this cruiser from there so I'm gonna keep that cruiser there and uh, yeah at this point uh, maybe another bomber or two uh, we've got a lot of IPCs left actually but let's build another bomber and just keep the pressure on uh, you know because there will be casualties as far as the strategic bombing goes um, yeah just yeah it took the wind out of my sails having that uh, those uh, pieces get lost there so 
um, maybe we'll build another transport and we'll just build a land unit just to use up the remaining IPCs. So yeah, so we got a bit of a mixed bag, but the production on the American side is, is huge and that's going to be a, a gigantic um, move there. So I'm going to definitely attack here and uh oh interesting okay i want to bombard am i bombarding is that <laughs> it's a new interface so uh we're gonna have to see if that uh if that works but uh, i think it is um and the destroyer is gonna move in we're just gonna again just build up building up navy oh actually we don't have a combat move for him um we're just gonna try and build up the the navy uh for uh to try and uh, make sure that we are um, utilizing the, oh, that's a fighter there. Um, yeah, we just wanna make sure that we are isolating Japan as much as possible and uh, ensuring that um, we have the, uh, the upper hand there, especially if we can take that factory, um, that is going to be a massive, massive, uh, opportunity now let's see one two three four five six i think i can make it uh oh i one yeah i should be able to make it one two three four i should be able to make it back so i'm going to <clears throat> make sure we're strategic bombing germany and actually the, that's one thing in this game that i've really really noticed is uh as far as the um you know as far as the the uh the game goes uh, strategic bombing really is key in this game. Um, it is, it is, I think, potentially saved my my bacon in a way because uh, it has been um, so useful. Um, it has really, really made a big difference. So um, I think it's kind of a necessary um, maneuver in many ways, um, just to make sure that we, um, you know, we have the. Uh, we have the uh, units that we um, that, that we're cutting their supply short, so they don't have the units that they need, and they can you can kind of wear them down. Because um, as I said, I'm a bit shocked. Russia is not looking very healthy at all. Um, the Allies are definitely, I think, winning overall, but it's not easy <laughs> by any stretch. It's definitely not uh, a walk in the park from that perspective. So. Um, there's a lot of kind of infantry screens being thrown up and defensive uh, maneuvers being uh, utilized here. So, uh, yeah, I almost missed this bomber here. I'm going to attack there. So, yeah, we're going to hit Germany hard for production. That's what I'm hoping is just they cannot keep up. Um, as, as strong as the, they've been and how well they've fought, it's just going to be a matter of attrition. They're just not going to be able to uh, keep up. And that's what I'm hoping. So, um Otherwise, um, I don't really see any great opp I mean, there's an opportunity to attack uh, Iwo Jima, I guess. Well, it's funny, Iwo Jima is not a, an, an island that would produce um, much in the way of, of production. <laughs> so I'm surprised it's worth one. Um, you know what, let's cause a bit of disruption here and uh, go there and see what that does. At least that will... Um, help create another infantry gap in the uh on the mainland there so that's a you know a nice aggressive move there i like that um other than that um yeah i think i've got all the strategic bombers in place there's nothing really else to do i think so we'll go to the next phase and see what we can what we can do here so this one should be i think fairly straightforward <clears throat> we'll have to see uh, how much damage we're able to do with the raid on Italy. But uh, yeah, it's always a, it's interesting that the, they made the rules change that uh, the dice cannot, uh, you know, uh, the the factories themselves have some air defense. So well, that's good. We crushed that uh, factory there, which is awesome. And uh, oh, what's he doing? He should not be attacking. Uh, should be raiding. Oh, that's nice. If they have a night, oh wow, that's great. If they've got a a redo button there, that is um, very nice. 
Um, but I may have accidentally just attacked Germany with my bomber, <laughs> which is, again, one of those funny interface things that happen. All right, hit him for four. That's good. I wish I had more uh, bombers over there, but uh, just keep uh, whittling and whittling down. And uh, yeah, we want to. Can we change this? Ah, oh, darn it. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Who wanted that? <laughs> I think we. It it allows some flexibility. Oh, jeez, that hurts. That hurts. Ah. Oh. They're going to get you once in a while, but geez, that hurts. Yeah, at least, uh, you know, as the, um, you know, they, it's affordable, <laughs> at least from, uh, from that perspective. Now I want to, now let's see if they will, I don't want to battle though, that's the problem. Oh, I might be sucked in for a round of battling here unless I can pull it off uh, that I cancel this. Um, okay, it sucked us into Manchuria <laughs> as I try and figure out my other moves there. Um, so this, we're going to bombard and hopefully this takes them out. Yes, that is sweet. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. That is the best possible. That is worth way more than six IPCs. Um, especially since we might be losing some IPCs uh, <laughs> coming up. And this is a bit of a long shot, but um, but it's you know chipping away at the a chink in their in the armor there, and uh, if we can actually score a a, a, a hit, then uh, we will not regret this move at all. Jeez. Well, can't retreat, so kind of committed here. Jeez, what the heck is going on for both sides? Oh, come on. <laughs> Jeez. Wow, this is quite the uh, the extended battle here. Ah, well, got to the end result I was probably expecting eventually. <clears throat> so, yeah. Um, all right, what's next? Ah, oh, geez, I can't believe if I've been... Ugh. All right, well, this was a mistake. Or, well, we'll see... Uh, <clears throat> I guess we're in for one thing anyway. So we <laughs> killed off an armor, but yeah, we're gonna yeah we're gonna pay big time. <clears throat> so that was a mistake, but in a way we did cost them IPCs. <laughs> we did cost them six, and in some ways, you know, you never know. Maybe the uh, the battle would have been uh, maybe they would have been shot down. Um, so I'm gonna continue on to the. Uh, caucus uh, there and uh, here we're going to fly back to is that uh, wake oh that's Okinawa yeah so that's good so <clears throat> we have very much disrupted their uh, their supply chain here um, I'm gonna move these guys uh, over here and he's gonna move here Oh, geez, yeah, we, I just wish we had more reinforcements for that space. Because <clears throat> it's going to be kind of a temporary temporary hold as it sits there. So um, we're going to try and get a transport chain going um, of moving um, some, uh, some weapons uh, around. Well, we have Alaska there too, so there might be some reinforcements there. Um, we'll just, oh, he attacked. Yeah, so, um, okay. Um, and then fly the bomber over here. And geez, our strategic bombing though has been so weakened over here. That's unfortunate. Well, I did buy a replacement, but it's funny how that attack, that suicide attack on Germany, if if I if the enemy had rolled a, a one and they have two shots at it, <clears throat> it may have been worth nothing. At least I got six IPCs out of it. <laughs> so it's so funny. Oh boy. Anyway, um, so we're gonna keep the cruisers there because of the fact that we don't want them to be, um, we don't want them to be uh, 
uh, left uh, with that. We want to put the transports with them. We're going to have to do the pro do it properly and escort them. And as you can, as I said, it, the worst thing that I've done in this game so far is honestly to um, you know to neglect that transport <clears throat> um, action. Um, that has been uh, something that I didn't uh, realize at the outset, and uh, I, and I thought I was coming up with a nice defensive tactic of spreading things out and, and so forth, and it wasn't a good tactic at all. So learn from my mistakes. All right, I think that's everything. And we've got some units to mobilize. So, well, we're going to put the bomber over there for sure. Uh, we've got two bombers on Japan, I think. Yeah, yeah I think that's... Oh, there's two bombers. Uh... Yeah, you know what? We let's we're gonna need to replace the casualties on that side. Uh, we're gonna put uh, how many transports there? Um, well, we'll put two there because we again just to replace uh, the the casualties there. Put one over there, and the artillery um, because we need some stuff to transport uh, with our new transports next turn. We're going to do that. Um, all right. Is there anything else that needs mobilizing? Um, I don't think so. It was a kind of an expensive purchase. <laughs> so, yeah, we got. All right. So that is, uh, yeah, I think that's our turn. So um, it is now time for the, uh, um, the Russians and turn eight. And this has been quite the uh, the battle, as I said. I did not expect this to be quite as uh, as back and forth as it has been. Um, but I hope you're you've been enjoying this game, and uh, it's certainly been more dramatic <laughs> than I expected. Um, and the Allies, especially the Russians, are just kind of hanging on, and we're making inroads, but not uh, not anything definitive. So. Um, anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching. And if you've been following this series, uh, you know, thank you for sticking with it. And I uh, hope to give you a thrilling conclusion at some point here. <laughs> um, if you if you do like these videos, please take a moment to like and subscribe down below. It helps our channel. And uh, we'll see you next time here on Legendary Tactics. <laughs>